Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, it's Carl here from lunchboxsessions.com, and this video will have a look at how to remotely control a balance-style pilot-operated relief valve. We covered the main type of relief valve you see here in an earlier video. And in this particular case, we have essentially two pilot sections. We have the main pilot section that is bolted to the relief valve. That's typical to find. That's one pilot section controlling the main relief poppet. But then at a distance, perhaps on an operator's console, via port X, sometimes known as the vent port, we have a long hydraulic hose, small diameter, going to another small pilot section. This is essentially a direct acting relief valve, usually with a fairly fine thread, and it allows the operator to make adjustments to the maximum system pressure, which remember is being controlled over on the main poppet, but it allows the operator at a distance to set that main pressure. So right now our system pressure gauge shows 500 PSI, and that is the setting of the pilot section on the main relief valve. So clearly the pilot section on top of the relief valve is controlling system pressure at the moment. Notice that the remote pilot section is set at 750. Well, let's start increasing the spring tension on the pilot section on the main relief and watch the pressure gauge. The pressure is going up. We are controlling the maximum system pressure. We're now at 700. But watch what happens as the system pressure passes over 750 PSI as we turn the adjustment on the main pilot section. Particularly, keep track of these white pilot flow arrows. Let's see what happens. Here we go over 750. What you will notice is now that we're set to 770 PSI on the main valve's pilot section, we no longer have pilot flow moving through that built-on, bolt-on pilot section. Our pilot flow is now moving out of port X, the vent port, out to the operator's remote pilot section. And at a distance now, this remote pilot control is in charge of the setting of the main poppet inside the main relief valve. So in this particular case, the operator who's at a distance can now make changes to the system pressure. Are you watching the system pressure gauge? And down we go and back up. What do you think will happen if I dial the remote setting, the spring here, what happens if I adjust that to a tension above 770 PSI? The main pilot section takes over control again. So let me ask you a question. Are these two pilot sections, the remote and the bolt-on pilot section at the relief valve, are those two pilot sections plumbed in series or are they plumbed in parallel? Oh, you'd be quite correct to say that they are in parallel. One pilot section has flow back to tank here, and the other pilot section, if it is open, has flow back to tank there. So they are plumbed in parallel, and this is simply the case of path of least resistance, where the pilot section that is set the lowest is in control of the main poppet for a pilot operated relief valve. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.